pursue him expectantly. Hosea chapter 6 and verse 3. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. This week, we have been focusing on knowing God intimately and how we pursue Him in order to know Him intimately. Remember that the people who pursued God are those who found Him, who sought Him. People who sought Him are the ones who found Him and the other ones who therefore knew Him intimately. Now when we pursue God, we must pursue Him with expectation or expectantly. Like Hosea the prophet prophesied, he said, you know, let us pursue God. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. Because the way God moves and the way God works is certain. I mean, His ways are established. He's not a shifting, uh, shaking God. Uh, he, he, his, his, his ways are established. And He says, this one thing we are certain about, that if we pursue the knowledge of the Lord, if, you, if we pursue Him, He will come to us like the rain. And as when you pursue Him, He's going to come to you like the rain. He's going to rain Himself down on you. He's going to pour out His presence over you. Or as the Bible tells us in the New Testament, if we draw near to Him, He will draw near to us. In other words, God is not the God who's going to disappoint anybody who pursues Him with the desire of knowing Him. He will never disappoint you and me. When we draw near to Him, He will draw near to us. Of course, there are those times when you are pursuing God and you are in that place, secret place, and you have wonderful encounters with God. You can feel Him overshadowing you. You can feel Him raining down on you. Maybe you're reading the Bible and all of a sudden you're overwhelmed with the presence of God and you start weeping and crying. Or maybe you're in a time of prayer and you're overwhelmed with the presence of God or in a time of worship and God just pours His presence on you. He comes to you like the rain. And, and those tangible experiences and encounters with the presence of God is wonderful. But there are also times when you and I are in the closet, in prayer, seeking Him. You don't feel anything. You don't feel anything tangible. But that does not mean He's not come to you. His word is true. That if you and I draw near to Him, He will draw near to us. If we pursue Him, He will come to us like the rain. So we must always pursue Him with expectation that something will happen in my life as I pursue Him. Even if it's for 30 minutes, even if it's for an hour, whatever time that you take to pursue Him, do it with expectation that I'm going to encounter God and God is going to come meet me. He's going to visit me. He'll do something in my life. He'll do something in my heart. So always pursue Him with expectation because His going forth is certain. His ways are established. He will draw near to those who draw near to Him. Let's pray. Father, we ask You that You'll help us be a people while growing in our knowledge of the Lord. That we will know You more and more intimately. And that in order to do that, we will pursue You, God, with expectation. We'll pursue you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. As we seek you in your word, as we seek you in prayer, as we seek you in worship, God help us so that we can encounter you and know you more and more. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.